Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I think it was a couple months ago, I did a hack on sublimation and DTF transfer film and, um, and the powder. And I absolutely love the results. In fact, this shirt that I'm wearing today is one that I actually did. And I did a couple more. And I just wanted to, one, before we get into today's project, I wanna show you how well these have held up. And I'll give you guys definitely close-up views of these. But I absolutely love how this DTF works on 100% cotton. These shirts have been through so many washings and this sweatshirt has too. And boy, do I get the compliments on this sweatshirt. So I just love it, it feels nice. Um, and so one of the things that I was really excited about is the company Yalmation reached back out to me and they have a new product and it is DTF transfer film with glitter. And so they wanted to know if I wanted to put together a video for all of my faithful followers and show them how that works. So of course I had to test it out before we got going and you guys, this color is so vibrant. And you may not be able to see the glitter. If I turn it in the light, you can. It's very, it's a very light um, glitter, but the shirt feels so nice. And the one thing, I've had lots of comments on the DTF process, because it is a hack. You're using your sublimation ink with it. Um, and sometimes people are getting some um, lines when they're printing. Well, when I did this design, I got zero lines. So I was really, really excited about it. So I can't wait to show you how this works and we'll put together a shirt. I'm actually gonna do a shirt for my husband. We'll see what he thinks about the little undertone of glitter in it. But this definitely is another great product to use from Yamation. And as always, you guys, I'm gonna put links down below to all the products that I'm using. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join you over at my printer. I'm gonna send my print job. I've already done the design of what I'm gonna do for this one. I'm gonna send the print job to my printer. And I wanna show you a new little hack I learned on getting that um, DTF film through the printer. Cause that is definitely tricky when you are using a converted printer. As you guys know, or if you've seen my videos before, I do have an Epson Workforce printer that I'm using that I did convert. I do have Cosmo ink in it, but there, there is a little bit of struggle getting that film through. So in previous videos, I've showed you how to put on a piece of copy paper with it. Well, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you, you can get it through just fine, just using some painter's tape. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle change, I'm gonna change you over by the printer so you can see it come off, and then we will come back here and we will work in our workspace. So give me a second. So here we are at the printer and I wanna show you with the transfer, it's kinda of hard to see with that glare. Um, it does state this side is for the transfer film and for the printing side. So what they mean by that is this is one of our sheets and this has got like a matte finish to it. And this has got, you can see that gloss. The gloss um, is where we're not gonna print. We wanna print on that matte side. So what I'm going to do is I've just got some painter's tape. Now this is a little bit different than what we did before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take painter's tape and I am going to put it on the glossy side. So I'm just gonna put it down here on my printer and I am going to put it on the glossy side. And what that's gonna do is just gonna help this paper get through my printer, okay? Don't have any scissors right here, right next to me. So I'm just kind of ripping that off, making sure that it's all evened up. So that's all I'm doing this time. Just a piece of tape and I'm gonna put it, now I am gonna load this, I'm gonna lower you guys down a little bit, and I am going to lower this, load this into my printer, and I am putting it 
glossy side up. Now, everybody's printer might be a little bit different, but for me, it needs to be glossy side up, and so it's gonna print on the underside piece, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and send my print job over, and we'll watch that come out. The printer is receiving the print job right now, and it wants me to push my paper in, and I'm gonna say okay to print, and it is gonna start printing. Now, make sure that you've got your receiving tray out. You don't wanna to touch this, just like we didn't wanna to touch it with the other DTF film, because the ink is laying on top of this film. So really important that as this is coming off, that we are not touching um, the actual print part. So just give it a second. We're gonna see that it is kind of a dull look um, right now. And then we're gonna take it over to the workstation and we will add the um, powder to it. And then we'll start to see it transform. So I'm going to let this finish printing and I'll meet you over at the workstation. Okay, so we're over here at the workstation and that is my design. And it is really faint. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm very carefully going to remove that painter's tape. I just don't wanna to touch my design at all. So I'm just removing that painter's tape. Then what we're gonna do is I have a sheet of just butcher paper down and I'm gonna lay it down. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the Yamation DTF transfer adhesive. Now this is the exact same adhesive that I used in my um, original post. And I will definitely put that link just in case you guys missed that one. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover our whole design and you're going to be able to reuse all that. So don't worry about getting too much on there. And then what we wanna do is just lift it up. And we just wanna make sure that our entire design is covered, okay? So I'm gonna set that off to the side for a minute just because I wanna get this <coughs> um, powder cleaned up. And this is one of the reasons why I like using the butcher paper is I'm just gonna slide that back in. Now I do throw this butcher paper away right away because it does have that sand on it or that, that powder on it. So now what we need to do is to move over to our heat press and what we need to do is we need to cure our design. And to cure our design, what we're going to do is we are going to let the heat press hover over the design. So what I'm doing here is I wanna make sure, I've got my heat press set at 340. And what I have found is if I let it cure for three minutes, my design turns out perfect. So what I've done is got my heat press all set. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking my design and I am very carefully gonna lay it on my pad and my design is facing up and then I'm gonna swing my arm of my heat press over and I've already double checked that I've got good distance there. And so I'm just gonna let that hover for three minutes and I'll join you back. So our three minutes are up and you can definitely tell the difference in our design. It might be a little bit harder for you guys to see it but I can definitely tell that that design is baked in and it's not the, um, it's not the powder laying on top of the film sheet anymore. So what we're gonna do now is one of the things that is so exciting about this DTF hack is we can transfer on 100% um, cotton shirts and that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead and just move this out just a little bit. I wanna get my shirt all ready to go. I am gonna bump up the heat on my um, machine. 
So let's go ahead and do that so that way I can get my other going. So I am gonna bump this up to 380 and I'm gonna do it for 30 seconds. So I've got this change, it's heating up to 380 for 30 seconds. I am gonna grab out my measure just to make sure I've got this right. Since I am making it for my husband, I'd like it to turn out really nice for him. So I'm gonna go ahead and just measure that up, making sure I've got it all nice. I am gonna go ahead and still use my lint roller, get all that off. And then we're gonna place our design. Now my design, I eyeball where it is at the halfway mark. Okay, I'm gonna lay that down. Oh, I can't wait to see how this looks. Now, when I did the design, I actually purchased, and I will put down both of the places that I got them. I purchased two different designs. One was the flag and one was the Corvette. I did um, make the flag be a little bit more transparent. The whole idea is I wanted the Corvette emblem to stand out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see what that's going to look like. So I am still going to cover it with a piece of um, paper. We're going to bring that over here. We're not quite heated up. We're almost there. So we're going to do 380 degrees for 30 seconds. Then, as you guys might remember when I did my last hack, this is a cold peel. So we will make sure that it's completely cool. Then we'll peel it off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press it again for 15 seconds. That will really help set um, this shirt. So we're at 380, 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and engage my heat press. And you guys, I've got a Tussie heat press. It's 15 by 15. So it seems to serve most of my needs. There are days I wish I had a larger one, but for the most part, this Tussie has been really good um, for me. So while we're waiting for this, I'd love to know what you guys think about this hack. Please leave comments down below. I'll also make sure I leave a link to the original hack and lessons learned I did on DTF. And so right now, this is what we look like. You guys can kind of see, I'll bring it up a little bit. But we are gonna wait for that for a cold peel and then we're going to go ahead and press it again. So I'll join you back as soon as this is cooled off. Okay, so I've checked it and we are ready to peel it. It is nice and cool, I can touch it, no problem. And so let's go ahead and peel it back. We have it right now. So let's go ahead and throw a piece of parchment paper, or excuse me, not parchment paper, butcher paper over the top. And we are going to do that same press, but we're only going to do it for 15 seconds. And you will see that some of the ink. Um, most likely will come off on our, par our butcher paper. And that is another way, reason why we wanna put this here. Sometimes you might hear on some of my other supplementation um, videos, I call this uh, blowout paper. Um, all it is is a roll of butcher paper. And so we have got our 15 seconds there. We definitely had some come out. It is a distressed flag. I wanted it that way, but look at those colors. That is 100% cotton fabric for those shirts. Just love how that turned out. Now I'll make sure I give you a good close-up view of it and also the one that I made for myself. And if you guys liked this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget down below, I will put the links to the Yawmation glitter film, their regular film, and their powder. 
Definitely recommend it, works great. And like I said earlier in the video, these wash up great. My other shirts have been through so many washes, never had an issue with it. So the one thing that I can't wait to come out with is when I can do it on black. That is always a request I get on black. I have had luck on the gray and definitely the pink one that I have on turn, has turned out great, but we're still waiting for that dark black or dark blue that I can do it on. But hey, thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday.